Hey everybody, Captain Murphy here for PiratesAhoy.net. We left off last time talking about buoyancy and I was going to explain writing moment and how it's actually being done in game. So we're looking right now at the last line hoy we had, had left off with. This one here is, according to the game, weighs 220,000 kilos. Now this is the displacement. It's, I'm guessing, displacing 220,000 kilos of water at the 1,000 unit density that they've got it measured at. So this is kind of where we're left at right here. This is a fairly stable design. The boat doesn't rock and roll too much. Uh, we haven't had to use any like major damping or anything like that to slow the roll, things like that. So we've got a pretty stable design. Now, after that, I started playing around with rigid entities and how they interact with the models and you know how we could make it so that every time you add a cannon to the vessel, any cargo to the vessel, things like that, that it would uh, make the vessel sit lower in the water, it would shift the center of gravity and things like that. Well, the first thing I started playing with was rigid entities and just placing them on the deck to see what would happen, uh, how they would actually interact with the objects uh, when they're sitting in the water. So what we're looking over here is I've got three vessels that have rigid entities interacting with them. And what we've got is each one of them has a rigid body entity sitting on the deck. Each one of these entities weighs 10,000 kilos a piece. So between the two of them, you've got you know, 20,000 kilos of weight that gets added to the vessel. Also on each one is a cannon. Each one of those cannons, however, is a static object. It's not a rigid body entity. And you can really tell that it's not a rigid body entity because this thing would have slid across the deck if it was actually not attached. So this one here is, is actually attached to the vessel using the link. And because of that, it doesn't have any real interactable properties as far as other than you know, physicalizing it and it has you know, something that can be hit, uh, like a bullet round, you know, anything physical can run into it, but it's not actually a physicalized object. So it's not affecting the, the vessel's buoyancy or its stability. You know, these cannons would normally have weighed, uh, especially as 24 pounder could weigh, you know, a ton. So you're looking at, you know, a thousand kilos or more. It doesn't have any effect because once we link it to the vessel, it no longer applies. And I'm not sure why I'll have to look into the code and figure out the reason, but anyhow, these rigid entities on the other hand, they do apply. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna reset physics. I'll show you what these three boats are. This one here is, uh, I believe it's 100,000, uh, yeah. This one is 100,000 kilos. This is what the vessel weighs in the game. This model here weighs 200,000 kilos, and this last model weighs 250,000 kilos. So we're gonna watch how each one is affected by the objects. So we're looking at it right now. If you look, you'll see that with these two objects sitting on the deck in the same position in each one of these vessels, we have a very high degree of list right here. We're almost at the point of the maximum writing moment, which is where we're just about to capsize the vessel. Now this one here, because it weighs 200,000 kilos, you'll notice that it doesn't have nearly the amount of list because once we've, we've increased the mass of the vessel that's sitting on, we reduce the amount of effect that these two rigid body entities have on the model because you know, by basic uh, buoyancy calculations, we're actually going to you know, increase the amount of writing moment we have to resist these two objects of, of causing an effect. And then as we move on, this one here is another slightly decreased amount. So this is actually realistic buoyancy. So we're not gonna have to do a whole lot of changes to the system to make it work right. But we're looking at each one of these. So let's go ahead and reset physics. And then you can watch each one of them as they go from their current positions, they're gonna settle in the water according to their mass and then these objects because they're offset to one side, they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna immediately start to, to roll to one side and take effect. And so you'll watch the little ball, it'll, it'll slide over. And once it slides over, you'll see that this other rigid body on each one of them will begin to take effect first. All right, so this one here is already all, all the way over. This one's pretty much maxed out. This one just now, and then the last one's finally slid over. So you can see these rigid body entities actually have an effect on the buoyance of each one of these objects. Now, if we turn this one here, we're gonna take its mass, and we're gonna turn it down to 80,000. And I'm gonna show you something kind of fun here because once we turn it down to 80,000, I'm gonna show you that this actually exceeds the maximum writing moment. And you'll see what happens in a second here.
Okay, so because we exceeded the maximum riding moment, the vessel capsized. The fun part is, it actually dumped the objects out on the ground once it capsized, so it no longer has that extra 20,000 kilos on it. But it's still capsized. At this point, which is kind of common with some vessels, that it's now buoyant and it has a riding moment inverse. So now it's buoyant and stable, but upside down. So the physics are actually very good, and we're not going to have to make a lot of changes to this thing. And again, you can see like these here, you know, they haven't reached their maximum riding moment, and they probably won't. You know, they're, they're never going to reach that point. If we do have rough seas, uh, cargo shifts, things like that, you'll see this happen. And once we can figure out how to get the cannons to actually take an effect, then we're going to start seeing that we can change the mass and we can change the center of gravity in these objects by moving and shifting that weight around and making it apply. So anyway, hopefully we can get this figured out in the next couple of weeks and we'll have a really nice buoyancy system figured out because the whole object is to make sure that we have this writing moment working correctly because we're going to have to resist the wind on sails, which is really where I'm kind of going with this. So that way when the sails are having wind pressure placed against them and we're going to measure that in you know, a number of kilos of force, that we're going to actually have the vessels healing over in a realistic manner. So we're not just going to have it uh, you know, like pseudo healing or doing it like that. We're going to let the physics actually take effect on their own. So anyway, hopefully this uh, will give you guys a little better idea of what our buoyancy is getting along and what we're planning on doing in the future. Thanks. Have a great day.